Hello and welcome to this week's Breakthrough Word, You Are Redeemed. Now this is the fourth in a series of messages we're doing on who you are in Christ. In Christ means you're a follower of Christ. You've been born again. You've been saved. You've put your faith and trust in Jesus as your Lord and Savior. And as such, you become a new creation. Old things are passed away and all things become new. We have a new identity. No longer are we to identify ourselves with our past our past failures or mistakes, or even by what other people have defined or said about us. We now are defined by what God says about us. And that's what these lessons are about. Taking a look at what God says in His Word about who we are. The first three messages I did, uh, there's a link to those right below this video that you can click on and watch if you've not seen those yet. Today we're talking about you are redeemed. In Christ, you've been redeemed. Galatians chapter 3 Verse 13 says, Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. Now, what does that exactly mean? Well, now as a new creation, we've been redeemed from the curse of the law. Before Christ, we were all under a curse, the curse of the law. What was that? Well, it was death, spiritual death, separation from God the Father. It was lack, and it was sickness and disease. Deuteronomy chapter 28 describes the curse of the law for those under the Old Covenant. That under the Old Covenant, there was a curse on those who didn't obey the law. Now, in the New Covenant, we who put our faith in Christ have been redeemed from that curse. Instead of death, we now have life eternal with Him. Instead of having lack, we now have abundance. John 10.10, Jesus said, I've come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Abundance in what? Abundance of peace. Abundance of joy and forgiveness, of purpose, of direction, abundance in every area of life. No longer do we have sickness and disease, but now we have available to us health and wholeness. God came to make us whole. That's who we now are in Christ. That's how we should define ourselves instead of being defined by the past before Christ. I want you to know in Christ you've been redeemed. You have life eternal with Him, you have abundance, and you're to walk in divine health and wholeness. That's your breakthrough word for this week. Until next time, remember, in Christ, you are reading. Be blessed.